Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for around the 18th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. I had somebody comment uh, yesterday or today, whatever, I read the comment today, and it said, what's the timing on this? There, you know, I know that's a valid question. I do, but there's no timing. There's really no timing. It's universal timing. It's, there's a such thing as divine timing. There are no clocks. There are no clocks according to the universe. When it's the right time, it will happen. That's, that's the way it goes. You can't control it. And then, um, so yeah, so the divine timing, when the time is right. And then this reading is not sign specific. You know, it may or may not be for you. This is just an energy that I am picking up on. The first thing I see is the Knight of Cups. Okay? Just instantly, just as I was talking, the Knight of Cups. Okay? So that is an offer of love or a, a, a budding romance or an opportunity to start a relationship or a relationship that is stepping it up to the next level. It's like somebody is really opening their heart okay and they're wanting a relationship they're wanting a romance they could be dealing with a romantic somebody that is very romantic somebody that is uh, coming forward with some sort of um, you know offers of love you know uh, sweet talk in uh, tender love and care that kind of energy flirtatious you know, if the, the Knight of Cups is like somebody, you know, taking steps to make a romance grow, you know, taking steps towards a relationship. So that's what we got here. Somebody that is taking action to uh, make a relationship uh, happen or grow. So that's the first card I see. Then I see the Four of Cups reversed, which is seizing an opportunity. So that is, that is like seeing an opportunity for love so this is this is definitely going to be about love I, I i i just really feel like it is i i can see that i do see the ten of wands as well though ten of the ten of wands is overwhelming this is uh somebody may be too busy they may have a lot going on they may not have time for it if you got somebody that is trying to give you attention and they're trying to make a relationship grow you might want to make time for it if, if, if you really want love in your life, you've got to make time for it. Maybe there's some sort of responsibilities or demands that are holding you back from developing a relationship and you need to put them on the back burner so that you so that your relationship can grow. You know, um, I feel as though what we have coming in is the opportunity for uh, relationship growth. OK. Or even the Knight of Cups can be a new relationship. That could be some a new relationship that is just starting. You know, somebody is, is making uh, the effort with the Knight of Cups. You know, it's like they want it. They want a relationship, and they're making the effort to make it grow. The Magician. And this is somebody, the Magician is somebody that takes action to bring success. Does whatever does whatever they have to do to uh, have the desired outcome. So this is definitely a very magical time. It is a magical time with the magician. It's like you have the power, you have the resources, you have the tools. All I gotta do is use them. So somebody is using their tools to bring success. Five of Wands reversed. The Five of Wands reversed is letting go of tension. Um, coming out of a conflict of some sort. We have somebody here that may need to be patient. <laughs> yeah, we do. We well, now we have the fool. It's interesting. You you may need to be patient. You may need to be patient. Just you know, have a little bit of patience. Um, now the fool is is a new beginning. This is a new beginning. This is starting from scratch. Starting at zero, not number one. This is starting at zero. 
starting over with somebody, starting, you know, we're going to start over, could be starting over with somebody you're with, starting from scratch, coming out of a conflict, it's the end of conflict with this five of wands, somebody is going to do whatever they want, they need to do to make something work. This could also be a brand new beginning with somebody brand new, okay, this is a new beginning here, and this is exciting, it is very exciting with the fool, this is an exciting time, you know, it is. King of Cups reversed. The King of Cups reversed is somebody that is emotionally unavailable. But in, in another deck, the Five of Wands is tug of war. This Five of Wands is reversed. This is this is letting go of the uh, you know hanging on to something. Somebody's like letting go of that rope. You know. That's the card. Whenever I see the Five of Wands, that tug of war sticks out at me. It's like letting go of that end, you know, letting go of the situation with the person that was emotionally unavailable. This person's not emotionally available. They're not. They can't communicate. They're withdrawn. They don't have good intentions. The King of Cups in reverse is an individual that does not have good intentions, that is not available for love. It's like they don't have any love to offer. And that is walking away from that individual, seriously, and taking action to bring, bring success and start over. So we have somebody here that is leaving behind an emotionally unavailable person or una whatever, however you want to say it. They're leaving this person behind. This person that doesn't have anything for them that they have been hanging on to and they're taking action to start over that's what we have here and this this is like this could be somebody may have called in a soulmate now the magician sets intentions they they believe in their magic some this person does so somebody may have called in a soulmate as well um ooh -hoo, yee. Okay, so the tower. The tower is, uh, this is a shakeup of some sort. This is a major disruption. This is walking away from a false sense of security. Take, and standing in your power. I have the power to be successful. And this is a card of manifestation. That's why, you know, called in your, your soulmate. This somebody has manifested a new beginning. They have given up on the person that didn't love them. And they have walked away from a false sense of security here. That's what this is. Leaving that false sense of security, that false foundation behind. And they're headed towards... Uh, this is something magical it is it really is see this person is leaving behind the false sense of security and they're headed towards success because this is success and they are probably headed towards the one that they manifested this is the one and this is manifestation so somebody is leaving behind the falseness and headed towards the one this is the one the one that they manifested Yeah, this, this, this person that was emotionally unavailable, they're trapped in their head. They're trying to escape reality. I was clarifying this King of Cups reverse. We have the Eight of Swords. This person that is emotionally unavailable is in, uh, you know, they have mental, they may have mental issues. You know, they may have mental issues. A lot of mental con mental conflict, a lot of mental. This person doesn't have anything good to say about anything. This person is a Debbie Downy Downer. They're a negative Nelly. Uh, they're not a good suitor. And it's bad news for this person. This is bad news. This person is bad news. Because this person is unable to master their emotions. No kidding. A complete wreck. They're not good news. It's just this person isn't good news. And here's that Knight of Cups we talked about. See it? There it is. There's my Knight of Cups that I saw at the beginning. Now we have a new relationship, a new romance that is, that is headed in.
Looks like this is really moving too. Usually the Knight of Cups doesn't move very fast, but this knight seems to be moving a little bit faster than the usual knights that I see. He's actually making moves. Got a smile on his face. He's excited. He is excited. Looks like he's really happy. Um, this is liberating. It's the end of suffering. It's the end of a painful situation. There's a new re relationship coming in. A new romance. After somebody leaves behind a false sense of security. Because you see what's behind. Okay? Behind the Knight of Cups is this false foundation that somebody has walked away from. So somebody walks away from a false sense of security. You know, they walk away from those those false... Uh, the false foundation in this new relationship. Here it is. Here it is. It's the end of suffering. It's the end of dealing with this person. That it's the end of even thinking about this person because this person that is emotionally unavailable. It is the end of even thinking about this person. We have a new. It's like I'm ready for a relationship. I'm ready for a romance. I'm ready. We have a King of Pentacles here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is somebody that is very uh, dependable, very practical, very cunning and clever. This person is business oriented, solid and stable. This somebody, this person has something uh, long term to offer. This person is seeking something long term. They have something long term to offer and they want something long term in return. So we have a mask. This is a masculine. We have a masculine here that is presenting a solid opportunity. And he is headed. He is headed towards somebody. He's making moves. This person is very solid. I mean, he has his shit together. He's a hard worker. This guy can master his emotions. This guy is in control of his life completely different than this guy. This guy can't master his emotions at all. He has nothing good to say. He's not good news. This guy leads to victory and success. This guy may be at a distance. Could be at a distance. But we do have a new beginning here. This is a new beginning. It's starting over. And it's going to lead to victory and success. We, this is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a Cancer. This is an Aries. This is a Gemini. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is the Four of Cups. Funny, I did it right next. Because remember I said at the beginning the Knight of Cups. And then I said I saw the Four of Cups reversed. I can't make this shit up. You guys know that I can't. This happens all the time. For it. It's funny where I put the car. I never know where I'm going to put them. Anyway, this is seizing a new opportunity. We have a new relationship that is that is blossoming. It is blossoming. After somebody has been in a painful situation where they were betrayed. It's like this person has a solid opportunity. This person is loyal and they here they come. It's like here they here they are or here they come. I told you this person was a hard worker. This person's going to put in effort. They're not going to give up. This person's going to do whatever it takes to make this relationship successful. They're going to try really, really, really hard. They're going to face opposition. They're going to put in effort. And they're not just going to quit like this person did. This person didn't have good intentions. The, Knight of, the King of Cups in Reversed is somebody that does not have good intentions. But now we have a new relationship here. Somebody is coming with offer an offer of love or an off, this could be just this could be the very very beginning. It's like at the very very beginning, you know, it's at zero. So not a step one, it's at the very 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 beginning of a relationship here. This is a, this is like seeing that new opportunity. The four of cups reverse is the end of stagnation and this is the end of suffering. It is the end of a painful situation where somebody was betrayed. It's the end of that. This is going to, it's like it's going to make you forget. That this is going to make you forget about the emotional discontent 
that you have lived in. It's going to make you forget about it. This is, I, I'm surprised we don't have like the temperance card come up because it's like this is the reason why that didn't work out. You have somebody has manifested a new relationship after leaving behind a false sense of security, and this is a shock. This is a shock that this that this is happening now because it's like you may have thought that, you know, it was never going to happen. You may have been discontent and sad and, and still, you know, moping. And you may be shocked that all of a sudden there's this new relationship or there's this new offer of love. It's like you didn't even see it coming. That's what I have. Um, oh, somebody has been holding on, resisting change. unable to release the pain unable to see that there was a, seriously somebody was holding on they were holding on to a dead end unable to release the pain and see that there was another opportunity but it's like now this person comes in and starts putting in effort and saying all the right things and it's like wow you know it's like wow Oh my gosh, the four of wands. This is, this is, this is, this is the one you have waited for. This is a opportunity for happiness, to have a happy home. If you have not met this person yet, you could meet them at a party uh, or, or an upcoming celebration. Um, there, there's, there could be a proposal in the work. Somebody may even propose. You know, if this isn't brand new, somebody may come in, with, they may propose. They may propose, they may... Just saying, somebody may have been working hard to save money to, you know, come up with the money to propose. Just saying, I don't know where that came from, but could be. Um, I somebody is in in the with well, the King of Pentacles reversed under here. This is somebody who has something to offer. So there is somebody that has something really something solid, you know, really something solid to offer, something that could really last. This could lead to marriage. This this new partnership could lead to marriage. So I feel like today is a day of uh, happiness. It's a really happy day. It's a good day. I feel like we have somebody here that is putting in effort to make a relationship grow. We have a new beginning that is starting. I think it's a, at, starting at the very beginning. I think we have a relationship that is just starting. That's what this looks like to me. It's like we're at the beginning stages. And I think, but I think it could it could uh, move very quickly. Yes, we're at zero right now, but from the fool to the chariot, it's like things happen fast. The chariot is is a fast moving, you know, energy. So so it, this could this could move very fast into some sort of commitment, a long term with the King of Pentacles underneath there. That the King of Pentacles wants something solid, so a long term commitment. Um, this is the end of, of holding on to a painful situation. Somebody has been holding on and it's gotten to the point where I just want a relationship. I just want to be loved. I'm ready. I'm ready. And because you, it's like you, this is a universe card. It's like because you tell the universe and you completely walk away, you, you've manifested this new relate. This is manifest and you see it's mirroring each other. The four of cups reverse. It's the end of boredom. It's like you've manifested a new opportunity and I think somebody is taking it. It's like I'm taking it. I'm looking forward now. I'm interested. Somebody is now interested in starting a new relationship. And because they, they tell the universe that they're ready, they, it's like the universe brings it. The universe universe brings it it's like whew, he go so that's what we have for today I think that we have a relationship that is blossoming after somebody finds their ability to after they had found their ability to walk away from a false sense of security is definitely still a shock it's a shock somebody is going to be shocked that this is all happening so it's going to be a day of feeling you know, wow, that is this. It's like, and I saw the wows yesterday. I don't know why I keep saying wow. Um, I think this could be somebody at a distance. They may have, uh, if it's not somebody at the distant, uh, at a distance, could, this could be somebody that drives for a living. Could be a driver of some sort. It doesn't have to be. Could be somebody that works in a factory and does the same thing every single day. You know, that kind of thing. Um, 
could be a dancer. This person could be a dancer. They could be some sort of performer. You know, they perform for a living. Could be an entertainer, this person. Um, but it is the end. It's the end of, of waiting. I think it's the end of holding on. And I think we have a new relationship that is starting uh, from scratch. And that is what we have for today. I think somebody has manifested a new beginning here. They have, and here it is. This is a very exciting opportunity to go in a new direction. And if you put in effort, it will be successful. It will work out. This could lead to some sort of long-term commitment. And that is what I have. Good luck.